be very, very quiet. We're talking about wabbits. Uh... Hello everyone, I am Richard Vigarelli, your guide to Chinese astrology for the Western mind. And today, we're going to talk about the wood rabbit and what the wood rabbit means. But first, let's talk about what the rabbit itself means. So the rabbit itself is very diplomatic energy, very refined energy. The rabbit likes really good food. They like really good conversation. So this person is going to have a lot of wit to them. They are going to like very high-end stuff, whether or not they can afford it. Uh, the rabbit uh, will probably not listen to trashy music, watch trashy TV, so they're probably not going to be up on the current events of, say, the newest pop culture family and what it is that they're doing. They just don't care. They have better things to waste their time on. So the rabbit is also going to move around a lot because rabbits like to move fast. So this person... Um, will not live in one place for a very long time. But when they're there, they have friends everywhere. Rabbits are very good at making friends. So what happens when you put wood in on top of this? The expansive energy of wood. Well, this person is going to be very, very good at traveling. They're also going to be extremely diplomatic and they are going to be able to convince you to do just about anything they want. So a wood rabbit would make a fantastic traveling salesman or politician of some kind. I would expect to see a wood rabbit uh, working as a diplomat or as an envoy. I would expect them to be very good traveling speakers that this person goes around to like universities and teaches the students things that they wouldn't hear in class that are relevant to life. And that would be very, very good at explaining things to people because they can get into, a wood rabbit can get into a level to where people understand because of wood rabbit, because of the adaptive and expansive energy of wood, they can adapt easily. But remember, one of the problems with the adaptive nature of wood is wood itself, once it takes on something, it can't get rid of the old stuff. So there might be a couple of conflicts here and there. So as a politician, you would see a wood rabbit uh, vacillating. A lot. They would adopt one idea about a given issue and then as new evidence surfaces to change that idea because people like the new idea they will change to the new idea but they will still keep the ideas of the former paradigm. Does that make sense? So let's say that you have a wood rabbit that is traveling around the country speaking out against, well, hot topic right now, gay marriage. And he is telling people that gay, mar gay marriage is a stupid idea because it goes against this and this in this book and these people can't have children, so why should they get married? Um, they can't even adopt. So what's the point of them getting married? Because the whole point of marriage is to make babies, right? So they can't make babies and they can't care for babies. So why should they be able to get married? That's ridiculous. Well, new information comes out saying that, well, the whole point of marriage isn't to have children. The whole point of marriage is to solidify a bond with another person and to build up that not only, not only financial but emotional security and so that you can have somebody in your life to share your life with. That's the point of marriage, not to have children and not to create a legacy. And if they wanted to have children, well, we changed the laws, so now they can adopt. Well, the wood rabbit will look at that and they'll say, you know what, you're absolutely right. 
but I still don't like it. But oh well. And they'll start traveling around the country with this and people will have followed them for a long time saying, but you said that you didn't like it because of this, this, and this reason. Now you're saying you like it because of the exact opposite reasons. So what's your real opinion, dude? Okay, so that is one way that a wood rabbit can get itself in problems. One of the things about diplomacy is you can't please everybody all the time. So. Uh, another big aspect about the wood rabbit is they will also be very, very good at making money because one of the aspects of wood is currency. So I would not expect a wood rabbit to be poor. If they are, they have uh, another aspect of their chart that is influencing for some reason. I have to see the whole thing. So, uh, wood rabbits, uh, again, very diplomatic, like to travel. So this, everyone, this has been my interpretation of the wood rabbit of Chinese astrology. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe below. And if you would like me to run your Chinese chart, please visit my website at vigintmen.com. That stands for Vigorelli Integrated Medicine.com. And I'll be sure to take care of your chart for you. Again, I am Richard Vigorelli, and we'll be back next time with the Fire Rabbit. Take care. Have an awesome day.